The first camera. The camera obscura was the first camera known to history. Conceptual descriptions of the camera obscura can be found in Chinese texts dating back to 400 BC, and in Aristotle's writings around 330 BC. The Arab scholar Ibn al-Haytham articulated the concept of a camera obscura around 1000 AD. A camera obscura does not take pictures, instead, it focuses light through a lens, technically a small hole and projects it onto a screen. Pinhole cameras are similar to camera obscuras. These devices paved the way for everything from still photography to movie cameras and projectors. The Pinhole Camera 1500 When Mosey, a Chinese philosopher, saw light rays falling on the walls of a darkened room through a pinhole made on the opposite side, he perceived the world outside to be upside down. Mosey was fascinated by this fact, and after thorough research, he concluded that because light travels in a straight line, such a phenomenon occurs in nature. This served as the foundation for modern cameras and photography. The Daguerreotype Camera, 1839 Moses' method of projecting an inverted image through a pinhole was brilliant, but there was no way to save the end result, rendering it somewhat useless. However, in 1839, Louis Daguerre, a French artist, invented a method to permanently store the projected image on a shiny mirror finished copper plate treated with chemicals. This was the first time an object was made light sensitive in order to capture information and store it indefinitely by treating it with chemicals. Daga made the process public in exchange for a lifetime pension, and it paved the way for the film cameras we use today. The Rays Camera, 1900 Everyone wanted cameras back then, but the only thing standing between these devices and photographers was the fact that cameras were bulky, heavy, and unappealing boxes. The Rays camera revolutionized photography in the year 1900. This was the world's first truly portable camera, with the ability to fold into a compact shape and being extremely lightweight in comparison to other models on the market. It was ideal for people who wanted to travel and shoot photos. The Laker Eye, 1925. You may have heard of 35mm films, the standard format for film photography for decades. Laker Eye was the first compact camera that packed a superb f, 3.5 lens and was able to shoot photos on 35mm films. Modern cameras that we use today started to come into existence at this stage. Polaroid Model 95, 1947 As more and more new cameras were introduced to the market, a camera became a common household item everywhere. However, the entire process of taking a photograph and developing the final photograph from the negatives was time-consuming and tedious. A company called Polaroid recognized this issue and decided to shorten the entire process to a matter of seconds. As a result, the Polaroid Model 95 was introduced to the market. With this camera, photographers could simply take a picture and have it printed in minutes on Polaroid's own special paper. At this point, instant photography was a reality, and it changed the course of camera evolution. Kodak Digital Camera, 1975 Cameras have evolved from bulky boxes to portable devices, and the time-consuming process of developing a photograph has been shortened to a few minutes. However, Stephen Sasson of Kodak created the world's first digital camera in 1975. It was a modified Nikon SLR camera equipped with a digital CCD sensor, for capturing light information and a tape recorder for storing the processed photograph. This invention provided the camera industry with a glimpse into the future when everything would be digitized and tasks would be completed in less time. However, it wasn't until 1991 that the first digital camera was made available for purchase at a hefty price tag of $13,000 to the general public. Fuji QuickSnap, 1986 Though cameras had advanced significantly over the years, one factor remained that kept this fantastic device out of reach for many people around the world, the price. 
Fujifilm, a film and camera manufacturing company, broke down that barrier completely by inventing the world's first single-use disposable camera, the Fuji Quicksnap. Each of these cameras was only $4 and could take 27 pictures using Fujifilm's inbuilt film. Once the film was developed and the photos were developed, these cameras were nothing more than a fun toy for your child. However, considering its performance and the number of shots it could take at that price point, it was extremely cost-effective. Sharp JSH04, 2000 There was no doubt that cameras were becoming smaller, more advanced, and even digital as time passed, but how compact could a camera have been back then? Small enough to fit on a cell phone and take pictures while on the go. In the year 2000, Sharp introduced a cell phone with a tiny camera installed on the back panel that could instantly shoot, process, and display photos on the cell phone display. This was the world's first cell phone with an integrated digital camera, paving the way for today's cell phones with high-quality digital cameras on the back. Apple iPhone 2007. With the introduction of the revolutionary smartphone, the Apple iPhone, in 2007, digital cameras in cell phones were given new life. The iPhone camera had excellent imaging technology and produced excellent photos in all lighting conditions. It was powerful enough to compete with traditional point-and-shoot digital cameras, and it accelerated the growth of small cameras. GoPro HD Hero, 2008 While everyone else was focusing on developing cameras for regular customers to use to capture indoor and outdoor moments, GoPro was attempting to develop something for people who were more adventurous and wanted to capture their adventurous moments. GoPro introduced the HD Hero camera, which could shoot 1080p videos and be taken with you on mountain biking, surfing, or any other adventurous sport you can think of. Do you know that when Felix Baumgartner jumped from space, the entire event was recorded using six GoPro cameras strapped to his suit? When it comes to toughness, GoPro can compete with anyone. Now. High-end DSLRs, such as the Canon EOS 1DC, provide excellent image quality and 4K video recording in a small package. Who would have thought that a compact camera like this could offer movie quality video recording, and have the potential to replace the large movie cameras we're used to? We've certainly come a long way since 1500. Is this, however, the end of this fantastic development? Definitely not. Imagine having the raw power of a DSLR in a camera the size of a coin in the near future. Funimizu, a designer, imagined this and even created a 3D model of how it might look if implemented. This tiny camera could be attached anywhere and instantly transmit captured photos to nearby devices via wireless transmission. Imagine how cool that would be. It would eliminate the need to transport a bulky DSLR when a coin-sized DSLR could fit inside your pocket. Though no official development is underway for this concept, let us hope it becomes a reality. And if it does, it will be a significant step forward for the photographic industry. This was the evolution of the camera. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.